Okay, so here I am in Calgary and the water formation I'm at now. Uh, hopefully, it's a bit windy today. That's uh, the Kelvin granite. And if you look at the rock, you see that there's large crystals of delta and quartz. So that's what this is predominantly is. The white crystal is most likely feldspar, but it's equid granular, so pretty much equal size granular, granules of quartz and feldspar. And it's pretty noisy here, you can see they're at, pretty much at port and they're actually building something over there. If we come over here, you can see how the wave has actually eroded the uh, fractures and faults first, and the main block has been eroded later. Here's what looks like to be fresh. It's cemented. And you can see this is pretty pink, so a little bit pink anyway. So what we have is the white colour is the feldspars, and then you got the actual quartz, which is the greyish colour. And remember, there's some biotites and micas, so uh, not too sure if it's muscovite biotite. Looks like, yeah, it looks like biotite actually. Anyway, and I don't see any pyroxenes or horn blends in the actual rock, so that's why it's a granite. And here's the actual lighthouse. So this is a Kowloon granite, so if you come to Hong Kong or a bit too noisy, you go to any place, uh, you will find a lot of formations, and as you can see it's quite built up around the place so you're not really going to find much geology here until you actually head uh, over to the hills over there and as you can see this has been quite eroded a short video so this rock here a bit of granite but to me it actually looks like a mudstone so there might be actual rock underlying it And the granites are actually outcropping in the actual ocean. So this is that low tide, you can see where high tide is, where it's actually moist. So quite nice. Something's been tethered here before. And as you can see, okay, so don't get a Galaxy S7, S20, it's a pretty crap phone. So this one looks a bit different than the other one. So you've got quartz here, got the feldspars, um, muscovite micas, and a little bit of probably pyroxene. So this is silica rich, magnesium, uh, poor.